Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, continuing my experiments with this uh, uh, battery pack. This is uh, eight D cell batteries, as you see, wired in series. And uh, I've got it on the other side of the rail with a magnetic lock on connected to it. And getting ready to run this Lionel General with 12 Lionel cars. Now, the uh, Lionel General, this was originally a DC locomotive. It has a CAN motor in it, so it's much more efficient than the Marx motor. Anyway, I've got 12 cars on the rail running on 8 uh, D-cell batteries. That's 12 volts. So let's flip the switch and see how this runs. This is pulling 12 Lionel cars. So as you see, that is actually running really well. It's smooth, it's quiet, and with that can motor in there, that would probably run quite a while on uh, this battery pack. So this would actually be a great way to make a portable layout if you don't have AC available. You can't run this strictly off a 12-volt uh, car battery. I have a controller coming. I'm going to do an experiment of running uh, of the layout on a 12 volt car battery. So uh, should be the controller should be here in a couple of days. So I'll do a follow up video on this. Anyway, I just wanted to see how this was going to run on 12 volts DC. This is eight flashlight batteries wired in series. So it gives me 12 volts, and as you see, this is running really well. Good constant speed all the way around the rail, pulling 12 full-size Lionel cars with no problem at all. And I'm just using a magnetic lock-on, as you see, running directly off this power pack. How long it will run, I have no idea. With that can motor, a substantial amount of time, I would imagine. I might just let this run and uh, find out how long it would run. Anyway, I thought it was an interesting experiment, especially using these uh, CAN motors rather than the AC motors. These are much more efficient, much less uh, current draw. As you see, that's actually running really, really well. No problem with this at all. Like I said, it would be a great way to uh, set up a completely portable layout. If you wanted to uh, do some kind of show someplace where power wasn't available or uh, wasn't convenient, you could actually power this on a uh, or from a 12 volt car battery. All you would need is a controller. Anyway, I've got a controller coming that I bought on eBay. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'm going to uh, set it up and uh, power the layout on, uh, from a 12 volt car battery and see how it runs. That way, I can test the AC motors and these DC CAN motors and uh, see how long this would actually run. Now, on a car battery, I would imagine I could run this continuously for probably eight hours. And there's a lot of current in a car battery, and this thing isn't drawn very much. And as you see, it is running smooth, it's quiet, it's powerful. No problem running this on the, uh, the D-cell batteries at all. It's actually running really, really well. Anyway, it's an interesting experiment. And uh, like I said, I ordered that controller. It'll be here in the next couple days. And uh, that'll give me uh, full speed control. And uh, I'm going to connect the uh, layout to a, a fairly good sized car battery. And then run several different uh, locomotives and see how they run on a car battery. <coughs> Excuse me. How long it will run? I have no idea. Uh, that uh, motor is fairly efficient. It's a uh, low current draw. So I would imagine it would probably run a substantial amount of time on this uh, battery pack. On a car battery, it'll probably run for days. The only way to find out is to do it. Anyway, I've got a controller coming that'll give me full speed control, uh, powering this from a car battery. So when that uh, controller arrives, I'll do a series of... Uh, experiments I'll hook the car battery up and then test different locomotives and see how well it runs on a 12 volt car battery and once I have a controller I'll be able to 
actually control the speed rather than just turning it on and off. So it's going to be interesting to see. It's going to be a, a interesting series of experiments. But in any case, just want to do a follow-up and uh, run this Lionel General on 12 volts. And considering this is running on uh, flashlight batteries, it's actually running quite well, as you see. And that's a good size consist, 12 cars, Lionel General with the original Tinder. This is running no problem at all. So like I said, it'd be a great way to do a uh, portable display where there isn't power available or convenient. Like I said, you could power the entire layout from a car battery. And once I have a controller so I can control the speed, it's going to be an interesting experiment. So when that controller arrives, I'll do a follow-up. I'll bring a car battery up here. I've got one downstairs, a new one in fact. Real big car battery. So we'll set up the uh, layout and run it on 12 volts DC with a controller. So I have complete speed control. And we'll see how this uh, layout will run on uh, 12 volts DC powered by a battery, a car battery. It's going to be an interesting experiment. So this is the first in a series, but as you see, this is actually running really well off of uh, eight D cell batteries wired in series. And as you see, it's powerful, it's smooth, pulling 12 cars with absolutely no problem at all. So I have no idea how long uh, these uh, D cell batteries will last. It'll be an interesting experiment to find out. I have thought of setting the camera up and just letting it run until this thing stops, but it could be hours. I have absolutely no idea how long it will run. But it's an interesting experiment, no doubt. So, 8 D cell batteries wired in series, 12 volts, running a Lionel General and pulling 12 Lionel cars with absolutely no problem at all, as you see. That's running really, really well. In fact, it seems kind of strange to power it from uh, this side of the layout instead of using the transformer. But in any case, as you see, it works. There's no doubt about that. So an interesting experiment, if nothing else. So as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, binstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.